perfect. Okay. So, determine the measures of all the angles in standard position. So, one of our definitions here is coming up. Between negative 800 and 800 that are coterminal with 85. So, 85 in standard position starts here, would end there. So if we wanted to write all the angles that are coterminal with that, we can add or subtract 360 as many times as we like. So if we sort of start with 85 here, if I add 360 to that, I'm going to get 445. If I add 360 to that again, I'm going to get 805, but that goes over what we're allowed. If I start subtracting 360, I'm going to get negative 275. If I subtract 360 again, I'm going to get negative 635. If I would subtract 360 one more time, I would go over. Quick little check with the check mark to make sure my mental math was OK. Yes. And so if we would draw these, 85 is the original one here at 445, that one would be once around and end like that. Negative 275 would start again, positive x-axis, and go there. And negative 635 would start, go all the way around once, and then end there but all of them end at the same spot. Wow. You're going to look at your notes later and go, ooh, there's a lot of circles there. Then in part B, it says write an expression for all the measures of all the angles coterminal with 85. The way that we do that is we start with the angle that we have, which is 85 degrees, and we add 360 degrees times by k, where k is an integer. What's that? That's for part A. Yeah, so for part A, there's only these four. And then part B, it says to list them all. And when we list them all, that's how we would show all infinitely many of them. Four and five are the ones for homework, but we're going to move on right now. It's a little bit short in periods today.